friends. A good day to you. Um, this is a this is a good video. It's it's an axe head that got sent to us uh, by a fella and his wife. It was uh, he didn't know if it was worthy of of bringing back to life. Well, you know what that does for me. That gets me rip roaring, gets me going. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to come in and say hi, truly, before we just dive into the video. It's plain and simple. And I, I really, truly hope you're doing well and I hope your Thanksgiving was good. Um, I appreciate everybody that comes into the into the chat, into the, the comment section. I really do. It's nice to see the names in there, the consistent names. If you're a newcomer here, thank you. Welcome to you. This may be something that you're... Well, it, it is something that you're probably not used to or familiar with. The community here is what I'm talking about. Do me a favor and do yourself the same. Go through the comment section after you finish watching the video. Just relax. Take a few minutes and relax. Kick your feet up, grab a coffee, and just watch the process of this happen. It's fun. You don't need to skip nothing. I mean, we're supposed to stay in our homes now. So I just wanted to come in and say hi and express my gratitude to everybody that comes here. Uh, we have weather coming around this week. we got some cutting going on. We haven't been cutting much, but that's coming up this week. Anyway, friends, love you all. Be kind to one another. Enjoy the video. Over now. <laughs> well, Mikey, how are you? We got your axe head in the mail. So, friends, this... This axe was um, some friends uh, from the channel. They were raking their backyard out somewhere near a, a national park somewhere, out Utah way. And uh, she, the wife was raking up and she, she raked this up. And I think they backed up against a park somewhere. So it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, there, all right, now, so, did you guys see Jonah's, the new buck and special on Jonah's uh, Instagram page, friends? The buck and special, friends, is shaping up like crazy. He's narrowed it down. I've been testing that axe like crazy. As you know, it's all on the channel. That's the cool thing about this. It's all going to be on the channel. Uh, I'm heading back to the to the dentist today. They they something's wrong. So we I, we got to figure it out. I, I it's been it's it's been 16 days since they worked on my and my jaws wrecked. It's wrecked. It's over here. It's in my ear. It's this whole side's wrecked. I can't. It, so we're going to go get that checked out today. Uh, but I got some interesting projects on the go. So this one was completely almost. Uh, look at this, friends. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the one side of it. Okay. One side thick and the other side thin. So that moves it over a bit when you put it on there. I get it fairly straight, but it's a neat axe, friends. It is. It's a really cool axe. I quite like it, to be honest with you. Yeah. So there's that one. And they're all, believe it or not, friends, believe it or not, they're all kind of like the underdog. You know, they're, they're like the underdog projects, if you know what I mean by that. They've all been uh, kind of destroyed, really. You know what I mean, friends? They've all been kind of destroyed or left for left for nothing, right? Uh, I'm not even starting a fire today because I'll be I'll be heading out back to the place there. But we got we got some neat things on the go. I want I want to thank Mike. Uh, Mike and, and his and his wonderful wife, they they found this, friends. They were. I have no idea what it is. I may find something on it. I don't know. 
But this is how they found it, just like this. Look at this thing, friends. Look at this thing. So some people would throw that in the bin, but I'll show you what I do with it. I think we can get it looking pretty good. I honestly do. How I start on something like that, friends? See how flaky it is right it's been beat to a pulp it's got big ridges on the inside it's been hammered there it's been hammered on the top and the bottom it's actually broken i don't know if i'll weld it <clears throat> but uh they found it in the it, on their property right on the edge of their property they were raking in there and it backs against a park friends it's pretty cool so it could have been somebody doing trail work way who knows who knows but it's pretty cool. So I, I'm going to get at this. That and another thing we're working on is another one of my favorites, a Tazzy. And it, it was in horrible, horrible shape. The bit had a big chip right out of it. Like it literally went chipped in about quarter inch probably. Just like it, just grabbing it and going snap like your tooth. Just snap, throw away. And so I, what I done is this. You guys have seen me do it. See, took it right down. Yeah, took her right down like that. And I'm going to actually put a, a new bevel on it, new edge, and create a wonderful situation. You can, it's pretty interesting. Eh? You see where they do the, this, this is a high test, friends. It's a four and a half pound high test. So these are the projects I'm kind of working on right now. They're just some stuff that I enjoy, friends that I enjoy. That's why I don't take a lot of projects on. Uh, you know, we've got, oh, let's get rid of that chunk of metal out of my finger. There we go. We got the manly sax we're gonna take out and throw around. I had it loaded up. Actually, I just made this yesterday too. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh, I didn't show you guys this one. <laughs> this is a Kelly Axe Tool Company, uh, St. Catharines, Ontario, made in Canada. Yes, and freak, indeed you do. It, it, it's, it's, friends, like, where do you find this stuff? You just don't. If you're looking for a cool, cool axe, go with somebody or go get yourself an axe head and a good, good handle and build your own axe. There's lots of guys doing axe videos. You can do it. You can do it. You can, friends. It's not that hard. Um, that way you know you get a wonderful axe, especially if you make it. And if you want someone else to make your axe for you, there's lots of men doing it. Killinger does it. I do it. Uh, oh, I don't know all the names, but there's a whole pile of guys doing it, friends. Find a guy that's really good at it Give him your material and get him to make you a vintage axe. They don't make profiles like this anymore. They don't. I haven't seen any. It's heavy on the bushcraft. Well, that's great and fine and dandy, but what about a guy that wants to split his firewood and load his woodshed and help the community out with his axe over his shoulder and feel good about life and go and help people out and split their, their woods and stuff? And they want to do it old-fashioned. Guys like me, you got to get this old stuff. Is there anybody out there anymore like that? I'll bet there is. I'll bet there is. Okay, I'm gonna get set up. I'll talk to you guys back in a flash.
think we're gonna get lucky. See, that was just mashed over right there. We're gonna make an ax, friends. I just go at things slow because if you can get a name out of it or a stamp, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, there's some numbers there. It's no big deal. It don't matter what you, you it doesn't matter at the stage. There is some numbers. Looks like eight, nine, zero, uh, which is interesting, but that's fine and dandy. So, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> look at it. But if you go at it slow, Right? If you go at it slow, you can at least, uh, you might bonus out. You never know. So go at these things slow. Talk to you in a minute. We got her down it's actually <laughs> believe it or not friends it's actually got a wicked splitting profile on her <laughs> look at this single you know i mean if you want to put that as a wicked splitting profile right there she's coming around friends it's solid still all right let's see what we got here friends See if we can, I kind of like working on these old underdogs. That's the guy. You guys good? Yeah? So it's going to go, looks like to me, uh, believe it or not, it's not broken. You'll, you'll see these, they'll get, they'll break in the eye and, and all kinds of things. This thing's not broke. It's not broken, but it is folded. Oh, oh wait a minute. I smoked too soon, I think. No, I didn't. So inside the eye is completely warped and, and all mashed and mushroomed over. I'll show you what I do for that. Can't thank you people enough for sending me these little kits of these little tools. I honest to goodness. This is what I do right here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the new subscribers. I see you coming in there. I'm glad you're here. It is 426 in the morning. I'm just throwing this video together for you. That little specimen I'm using right there is a lifesaver. Friends, this thing was for the bin. I mean, it's coming up nice. Let's keep rolling here on this. in there where you're going to hang it and it's not going to hang. It's just not going to hang. So what we've got, I'm, I'm thinking 28 inch Killinger.
Wow, this thing got beat up, friends. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I mean beat up. But the crazy thing is, this thing will split better than most things you'll buy off the shelf today. I can guarantee it. Seriously, friends, I can. Because of the profile, they don't make them anymore. That might change. Even though it's bent, like like it's it's crazy. You guys are hammering and going all around there now. Let's pick a handle out for this axe now. Hoot, 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 hoot.
All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back on. Let's get back into normality here, friends. All right. When you get, so you're supposed to have your, your smaller eye on the bottom of the axe, right, friends? We all know that's the bottom of the axe right there. Well, if you look, for some reason, who knows why? I do know why, because it got smashed on top, which spreads the eye. This bottom eye is bigger than the top eye. And you don't really want that. So don't be afraid to just get it on a hard surface where you're not wobbling all over. Take a look at it. There we go. Now, yeah, yeah, that, that's 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 the stuff right there. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys this. Look at old, look at old. Just look at little, little Buckin's got his toque on, okay, and he's got it over his eyes, and there's there's a reason for that. Because if I don't put it over his eyes, he's coming after me. He will. He'll come after me on everything I do. He'll be on me, right on me. See if we can get some light on this. Yeah, there we go. See that? See that there now? There we go. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the look I'm after right there. You see, friends? So that's the top and there's the bottom. We look really good, really good. Okay, 28 inch handle, heartwood, heartwood handle. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much, Mike, you're gonna use this thing, but I'll tell you right now, it's a totally usable ax. Uh, but I'm thinking, It's total barbaric week, friends. Look, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> it's total barbaric week. Loving it. Freaking loving it. That's a nice axe, whoever gets that. It's beautiful, sharp. What time is it? Is it dentist time yet? Ooh, I better check. Hang on a sec, friends. Okay, we're back. I'll tell you something, friends. I have never in my entire life been stomped on like I was stomped on today on my face seriously my jaw is like you know how every joint has like a a cushion in it well I guess we took x-rays of my head and everything today and and uh I went to a chiropractor and uh I'm telling you he was doing little stuff, you know, that kick, 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 little thing in the computer and this and that. And that was all fine and dandy. And then he put me down the table. And you know, when they do that, you can tell they're going slack on you. And now they're getting ready to just, well, he did a couple things that weren't so bad. Little compression drops on the tables and that and this and that. And then he said, well, we're going to, I'm going to, he said something to me. Like he said, uh, 
big guy. Big, big strong guy. He says, I'm going to go for the, the home run or something. Something like that. Well, friends, listen. I don't... I think my pain threshold is quite a bit different than most. I, I can endure pain. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not trying to be a macho man. It's just the facts. I've had a lot of pain in my life, physical pain. So he did something to my jaw. I, I, it felt like he grabbed it and just went and jumped on it. My leg, I was on my back. This right leg went up in the air. I went, oh, and I'll tell you something. I sat up. He was asking me a couple questions. One of them being, are you all right? Uh, I couldn't answer. I was gathering my thoughts. I was watering in my mouth. I thought I was going to start to sweat. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, Mike, how are you, buddy? We got Mike Collins with us, friends. Mike and his wife, nice people. He sent me a little video of them splitting wood. Maybe we'll look at it, eh? Yeah, let's do it. You okay with that, Mike? Let's check out this video. Okay. Hey, what'd you guys think? Nice property out there, eh? Yeah. So, so Mike, we're getting there, buddy. I got a nice Killinger handle here. We're just starting to work our work our our way down here on this thing. It actually came out not bad. I'm actually surprised. It's amazing how something can look so horrible and yet come out like this. And I, I don't never try to bring these back to. It's no. But let's look. Let's look at something here. See how far we got. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of a neat axe, actually. It, it is. It's a neat axe. Okay. Mike, we're, we're down to it here. We are literally right getting down to it. It's, uh, <laughs> it was a lot of work. As you can see, we're, we're not done fitting, but we're very, very close. I want to see where we get to now. Because of, um, well, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. There's hardly anything there, but it is there. And I'm a perfectionist. You see what I'm saying? See that little teeny, teeny little gap? Well, that's... The thing went oblong from getting smashed upon, but that's, we're, oops, sorry, friends. You know what I mean? I just don't want to get too small. I don't want the axe to become very, very small. We've got a lovely fit here now. Lovely fit. Oh, yeah, and it's dead square. Dead square. So I think I might just make that our home right there. There we go. Now this is gonna be, this is gonna be wicked. We're, we're done, Mike, we're, we're going on, brother. We're doing this, we're doing it. I don't even need that no more, let's put that out of the way. And this, and this, and this. Let's put this over here. We don't really need that, okay? We're, we're done, we're done. We got our curve rate where we want it, watch. Did you hear the noise? Shlunk, not like, you know what I mean. This is a neat axe. This is a very neat tool. Okay, I, I take that to I go right about there, okay? Now watch what I do to finish it. I go like this. I grab my persuader. I just do. It's extra weight, and it's just what I do. Or make sure you don't break your handle. Oh yeah, definitely. There we go. That's what I wanted right there. That thing's down now. Oh, and, it, and it's it's straight. What a nice axe! Yeah! <laughs> I'm happy. I'll get a wedge. We'll get right back to you. Well, we're back. Hogan's upstairs drumming. 
The old man here, old Bucky Billy Ray, is doing an axe for a really super, super nice guy, Mike, who's happy to be alive with his wife out on their property, splitting wood. I love it, buddy. And he found this axe, and he was so excited to get it to me, and so was I. It's a, it's a big project when they're all smashed up like that to produce something that is usable, yet if they don't want to, they can hang it on that. You know what I mean? Uh, I wasn't about to go any further with this with this axe. I, I'm done with it. I'm not going to try and cover every stinking little crack. It was too abused. <laughs> Look at that, friends. <laughs> Look at that. Took the whole wedge. Took the whole freaking wedge. It's crazy. Crazy. I'm going to just quickly clean this up. I'll be back in two seconds. Horanuta. Well, old Mikey, old boy. I didn't want to push the limits on, a, on an axe like this. Uh, hardwood handle. I don't know exactly what your plans are with, with it. Fuck it. You crazy guy, yeah. Look at this. Look at it, just drinks it. Oh, see, this is, this is what I like about this. Look at this. It, it literally laps it right up. Get the extremities. Get the top. That's what I like about Heartwood. It does drink up more vodka than sap does than sapwood, okay? I'm not gonna do the top yet. Oh, this is nice and dark. This is a special, a special ax. You can see it here. Last little hit with Wacker Rag. I'd say she turned out pretty nice, Michael. It sure feels good, pal. It really, really does. It feels smooth now. <laughs> Heartwood, when you throw the heat to it, friends, it can sometimes, oh, any handle can do it. Have you ever had that happen to you? Throw a little heat to her and the handle goes, well, that, think about it for a second. You gotta be careful. You gotta try and do it evenly. All right, that's it, friends. There she be. It turned out really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with it, friends. I'll catch you guys all on the next video. Thanks for hanging around with us on this decrepit old ax that was raked up out of the dirt uh, by his wife, Mike, Mike Dillon. Or, or pardon me, Collins, Michael Collins. I really appreciate it, sending it this way. Um, we enjoyed working this one for you. I like these projects. I like them a lot. It's a Killinger handle. It's a, it's a, look at the, look at the grain on her. Straight up in Dune. Just a nice, nice little ax and totally usable. I'll clean up this little bit here, right there.
Oh, sorry, friends. The finished product of the access for the evening for Michael and his lovely lady. It's a book and special. Yes, I think so. See, I do it on both sides. The one is like this, so that you are looking at it like this. And then if you want to turn the axe around like this, on the other side, it is down there too, for wall hanging purposes. Uh, this is very nice, friends. It is Sven stopping in to say hello, friends, to you. Hoping you have a happy Thanksgiving in the States, the United States of America. Wish you a uh, happy Thanksgiving for everybody. Next Pixel, Christine, Decal family, everybody. Me, oh, there's too many to mention. Michael, it was a pleasure for me and Bakken to do this for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Over and out, friends. That was a fun build. See you in the next one. I'll tell you. See? Like that. Look at the knots on that sucker. This axe is, is excellent. It's very slippery on this wood. There's no bark on it. Look at this. Check this out. See what I mean? Just go like that. Get it straight. Hello. This is why I like axes to be able to do this. See? If you hit your mark, friends, like if you hit your mark, you're not going to bust up your axe. Mike, this thing's wicked. It's wicked. Look at this Arbutus. Look at this. Hmm? This is our beauties, man. It's crazy stuff. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. It either splits or it don't.
That was a nice little axe. Okay, enough playing around. See you back at the house.